Hi everyone, in this video I would like to help you to download Citrix HDX Media plugin software and install it on your computer. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to open a web browser and go to google.com type Citrix HDX real-time media engine for teams so if you are someone who is trying to uh, get on calls like audio calls or video calls and if you want uh, a very clear audio and video then this uh, plugin needs to be installed so before installing this plugin make sure that Citrix receiver is installed on your computer okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open this in a new tab all right so it says hdx real-time media engine latest current release version for microsoft skype for business okay so it says the hdx real-time media engine is a plugin to the citrix receiver to support clear crisp high definition audio video calls uh, as i said like a few minutes ago so particularly with microsoft skype for business of course, uh, so they have also given uh, the compatibility information like it is uh, compatible with Microsoft Skype for Business Server 2019, 2015 and Microsoft Link 2013 and Office 365 as well. So you need to download the right software and it depends upon your operating system. So if you are on Windows operating system, you can download this file or if you're on different operating systems like Mac and Linux then you have to select this or this okay so what I'm going to do is since I'm running Windows operating system I am going to download this file all right it's trying to download the file And this should be compatible on uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10 mostly. This is going to take a minute or two, so please bear with me. And also it's really essential to have a very good internet connection along with this uh, plugin installation at the end of the day if the internet is not great from the end user side then you will not be able to have uh, you know a great connection with audio and video okay so the file is almost downloaded So what I'm going to do is uh, I tr I try to access this file and run this file as administrator. Okay, please don't forget this. Right click on it and try to install for whatever. Yeah, it says uh, I'm already uh, logging in as administrator. So if when you right click on it, if you if it gives an option to run this file as administrator just try to run it all right so you see this uh, setup wizard welcome to citrix hdx real-time media engine 2.9 setup wizard i just go ahead and click next accept the license agreement click next install
okay so uh, it is giving a warning saying that this setup must update files or services that cannot be updated while the system is running if you choose to continue a reboot a, a reboot will be required to complete the setup so uh, before uh, clicking okay please make sure that uh, you have saved all your files so that a reboot is required so i just go ahead and click okay okay seems like uh, the installation has been uh, finished successfully i just go ahead and click finish okay so before uh, connecting to your citrix environment please make sure you restart your uh, device or your computer okay i just go ahead and click next Yeah, after installing the software, it's uh, always good to restart the computer and see if you get any error messages or it is installed properly. So I'll try to log into the machine. Hit enter. Okay, seems like uh, the software has been installed properly. Let me just cross check from program section. A lot of things are popping up. Just close it. Minimize it and. All right, so. Open it. And if you see here under programs, it says Citrix HDX Real Time Media Engine 2.9 is installed. Okay, so it's installed on fifth. So it looks like the program has been installed successfully without any issues. And try to access your Skype or Teams or whatever uh, application you like to use to connect. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any issues or if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.